what role would you and your organization have to play in addressing this matter? Well, as I indicated, I think before we started, uh, Nicholas, um, the Environmental Commission is a creature of statute, yeah. meaning you know, we were established by a uh, law um, of parliament, and therefore we gain our jurisdiction from that law. Yeah. So our main role is to address and to deal with disputes that arise from the handling of, of, of the enforcement on the part of the EME, yeah. and citizens and other entities or persons residing in Trinidad and Tobago. So as I indicated before, the EMA has a responsibility as a regulatory body to enforce the law and to ensure that it is compliant. Yes. And in so doing, there, there will be disputes and, and disagreements that may arise between the EMA and any other person residing in Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, be it an individual, be it a company, or any of the sort. And our role is to ensure that when those disputes come before us, they are dealt with in a timely, yes. in a very economic manner, and also very importantly, in a, in a, in a very certain, just and transparent manner. So, so, so we have a very important role to, to, to perform, and that is to ensure that there is environment, there's strong environmental justice, or that there's justice in environmental matters. So that's how we would uh, seek to perform and advance the work uh, when it comes to protecting the environment and dealing with environmental issues. What can citizens do to address this matter as well? Well, citizens have a very important role, and I, I want to, to, to move away for a little bit from the, the term citizens, and I'll tell you why. Under the Environmental Management Act, it, it refers to people residing in Trinidad and Tobago. And as we know, uh, in, in the global context, there are many people who you know, move from one state to another, and currently in Trinidad and Tobago, we have a lot of people who might be working, living and working here who are not citizens. Yes. But even, I, I, want to, I want to say that even they have a responsibility, together with citizens to ensure that you know, they are aware right. of the importance of the environment and they too are taking the, the little steps that they can to, to, to protect the environment. You know? you know, we all have an important role to play, um, be it adults of today, be it the youth of today, who will be the adults of tomorrow, who will be the decision makers of tomorrow. But I want to say that, that they, can be, they can influence the decision even of today. And therefore, I, I, I keep stressing on the youth because I think the youth holds the key to the future. Um, and I want to say that the youth need to take ownership, even today, yes. and provide leadership. Too. Because, as I say, they are not only going to be the decision makers of tomorrow, they are very important in, 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 in the making of decisions even today. To the people, generally, I think we need to understand and appreciate that we are the single most um, important factor in either preserving or harming the environment. Yeah. So I have spent a number of years at the Trinidad Tobago Solid Waste Management Company and I did make a contribution there in terms of um, improving the knowledge of waste management and uh, trying to put systems in place. Um, in my present capacity, um, functioning in a number of areas, one of the, those areas is that of uh, education. So I am uh, associated with School of Business and Computer Science, or SBCS Global Learning Institute, as it's now called, yes. and running a short course on waste management uh, with a particular focus on recycling and um, recovery. Uh, other than that, I'm also involved with uh, a number of NGOs uh, providing technical guidance, especially in the areas of, of public education. And I am also doing uh, work with a uh, number of other agencies uh, dealing with the issue of waste management throughout the Caribbean. So, um, we are a consumer-oriented society. We're bringing in a lot of um, consumer products, which ultimately um, end up at a landfill. And when you consider the fact that um, our population is growing in size, we are becoming um, more consumer-oriented, mm -hmm. but our island space is remaining the same, then you know, we realize that we will soon run out of space for disposal of, of waste and so And therefore, what we need to do is to change our behaviors as it concerns uh, waste management. Okay. No, I know you spoke of citizens on the whole, but what can you do to address this matter? Right, certainly youths need to get involved and, 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 and lend their voice to uh, the issues. They need to have discussions. They need to 
uh, be part of environmental groups such as CYEM um, and be able to make their voices heard, be able to contribute to these positive discussions regarding uh, waste management. They need to be able to participate in programs and lead by example. Can you tell us what Envision means to you? So Envision, I think, is just looking forward, trying to find out what is going on and what we can do to create a better Trinidad and Tobago. So I work for the Basel Convention Regional Center for the Caribbean. We are an, international, an intergovernmental organization that is hosted by the government of Trinidad and Tobago. We work with 14 countries that are part of the Basel Convention, but also the other conventions that I mentioned. And we help by providing technical assistance to these countries for them to implement the, uh, the conventions and to fulfill their obligations. And so we mostly do conduct projects and in Trinidad and Tobago, for example, even though we are not a, a part of the Minamata Convention on Mercury, we have completed an assessment of the Mercury resources in this country. And so from looking at that in Trinidad and the other eight countries that we have or are in the process of doing it in, um, we've seen where there's a problem, and once the countries can see where there's a problem, they now have the tools to be able to start trying to find a way to fix it. Um, we are also currently doing a big project on the system of and pollutants, and Trinidad is one of the benefiting countries from that project. And same thing, they've done an inventory, and that inventory has supported the, the update of the National Implementation Plan for the Stockholm Convention. And with that now, that it gives the country a plan of action. And does this extend to the discussion of Yes, of course. I mean, especially with all of these chemicals, they have more of an impact on young people, people who are developing. Because what is going on inside of them is that they are still filling up their body, their cells. Mm -hmm. Everything is developing, so it is more vulnerable. And so it's very important for the youth and for young people, women and child their age, because those are the populations that are at more risk. And we need to be able to understand what can affect us and how we can stop it. 